Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Isaiah 53 verses 10 to 11 The Lord allowed the suffering servant to suffer for our sins. The Lord's will justify many through his affliction and bearing their guilt. The Lord would have crushed him in infirmity. If he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in a long life, and the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. Because of his affliction he shall see the light and fullness of days. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. God's powerful presence amongst us was to heal us, and the leaders of the Jews. Had the Jews gathered then, and responded favorably to the teachings of Jesus, who knows at what greatness God's course will the ministry of Jesus might have taken. Lord, let your mercy be on us, as we place our trust in you. See, the eyes of our Lord are on us who fear the Lord. We hope for your kindness. We want our Lord to stretch and bring us to you. Our soul waits for the Lord, our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us who have put our hope in you. Hebrews 4 verses 14 to 16, Jesus, the Son of God, our great High Priest, understands our weaknesses and temptations. Let us confidently approach God's throne for mercy and grace in our time of need. Brothers and sisters, since we have a great High Priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast and be sincere in our confession. For we do not have a High Priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy, and to find grace for timely help. James and John asked Jesus for positions of honor. Jesus taught that true greatness comes from serving others, not from seeking power. He emphasized that he came to serve and give his life for many. Jesus was talking to the brothers James and John. James and John had a very important question for Jesus. James asked Jesus to allow James and his brother John to sit one on the left and the other on the right of Jesus. Jesus answered, You don't know what you are asking? Can you drink from the cup I drink? Jesus said to the twelve followers, The one who wants to be first must be the last slave of all. Even the Son of Man did not come to be served but to serve. Then they left for Jericho. Let us pray. Let us give thanks to our Father in heaven for strength and guidance in protecting us in this big, wide universe. For most days, we want to pray for good weather. Most of us experience our world change in climate, resulting in high and low temperatures inside and outside our homes. Let us keep us close to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit together with Mother Mary and all the angels and the saints. God bless.